So as the year is coming to an end, I wanted you guys to kind of get these reviews of some of the projects I tried out in 21. As the year started in 21, I did start out a number of projects and I thought because I shared them on social media, it would be great for me to give you feedback so that if these are projects you would like to try out in the near future, you actually have some feedback to start from. And I know that it will be beneficial, so make sure to watch till the end. Hey beautiful people, I am Matilda and welcome back to my channel. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and the bell button so that you're notified of any and all awesome uploads I make throughout the week. Now guys, this is the end of the year. I tried out a number of projects. Some of them are still running. Others came to an end and I wanted to give you some feedback so that if these are things you want to try, you can actually benefit from them. So, the first project that I tried out in 21 was a yard sale. I organized a yard sale because number one, I wanted to declutter my life and as you know, it is a great way to get an extra ching ching, okay? So I wanted to get extra money and I wanted to declutter and I also wanted to learn a bit more about, you know, putting yourself out there, selling a product and getting to interact with customers and just getting that one-on-one -on -one feel. Oh, sorry for that horn. Anyway guys, so it was an interesting experience for me. It was hard work, but it paid off. I learned a number of lessons. I got what I wanted from it. It was beneficial. I, I declattered, I sold most of the stuff. The stuff that remained, I gave it away. And yeah, it was awesome. Now, the lessons learned for me from that project was number one, do not organize the hotel in the rain season. It gets really hard. I had to do a lot of prayer and hopes for the rain not to pour on those particular days. But one lesson learned, if you want to organize a yard sale, is do not do it in the rain season. I actually overlooked that and yeah, it was rain season. So at least we had shelter and it didn't rain too much on those particular days. So people still came in and it was a success. The second thing I learned is People have a lot of stuff they want to get rid of and also it is a great bargain because I found myself buying stuff from other sellers there. People came on board so I was buying stuff from other sellers because there were things they were not making use of so I was buying them at a discounted price. So it is a win-win situation for both buyers and sellers. So definitely something that I will do again in the near future. And let me know though, do you want me to organize your hotel and would you be part of it? So that was my auto experience. Now, the second project that I tried out in 21 that actually also came to a close was my fish farming experience. I remember I posted a video not too long ago, you can find it among my content, and I was actually pretty excited about trying it out. Now, remember, for most of us in Zambia, we are huge fans of chicken rearing. Chicken rearing is pretty fast, it doesn't take as long, so fish farming does take longer. The main reason I wanted to try out fish farming was to gain experience, of course to make money, and really just understand because I know, especially after doing that, that it is something that I will do again. So I tried out with my friends and we had an awesome experience, a lot of learning that went into it, and of course when you're farming, the first batch is always or usually a learning experience so let me give you two things i learned number one is when you're buying your fingerlings make sure you know your supplier for me one of the things that actually set me back set our projects back was the fact that our supplier didn't really give us very good fingerlings so make sure the supplier of your fingerlings um, comes highly recommended by somebody that's been doing fingerlings for some time or fish farming for some time rather. The second thing that I learned was that you have to be really patient and get a fish farming expert on your team. Whether you just be calling them from time to time, asking them for their feedback and their input, it's really, really helpful. It helped us a whole lot. First of all, because you see, fish are not like other animals that are above water. They're usually underwater and sometimes, especially for us that we're new farmers, 
in that space we had a challenge with really understanding what was really going on. So with our fish expert on Dow, on speed dial, we could actually call him and he would tell us, okay, if this is happening, it's a sign of this, so you wanna do that. However, um, six months was a pretty long time, but when we did harvest, it was encouraging to see that we actually sold out our fish in two hours of harvesting so it does show that there's a huge demand for fish in Zambia and also I would encourage you if you're looking into farming in Zambia and you're wondering what type of farming you should do definitely consider fish farming because there's a huge local market and most of the reports even as you read a lot of reviews and reports on Zambia and food security fish is in high demand and so we sold out and the only reason we didn't get back into it is because the farm we're trying out it on um, wasn't able to accommodate us anymore so when I do get an extra farm or another farm upload I would definitely do it because it is beneficial okay so guys these were two projects that I tried out. Um, the number of projects that I tried out, in case you haven't noticed, I did Quasha Tribe, which is an online learning platform, and it's still running, so I'll do another video about that. If you wanna know, let me know in the comment section. But other than that, guys, um, it was awesome doing the fish farming experience, and I do hope that you do try out any or both of these uh, projects in the near future and I hope that is success for you remember as we enter 22 let's be bold because definitely for me trying out all these projects in 21 it's made me more confident in my abilities and also just wanting to learn more and explore more and I do believe that you can also do the same so if you're feeling stuck try out one or both of these projects you might just be surprised with what turns into gold, right? So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.